Well, it's so good to be here to be able to celebrate the Mass. Um, and uh, because it's Holy Trinity Sunday, in honor of the Holy Trinity, one God, three persons, I'm going to try to give a three-minute homily. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> because I know it's also such a beautiful day. We have a lot of things to do. We want to enjoy God's creation, this day of recreation. God is love. God is love, and because He's love, because He loves us, He created us out of love. Love creates, right? Sin and hatred just close in on itself. Love is fruitful, right? It, it bears fruit. It brings forth creation. When a man and a woman love each other, they bring forth another. God is love, and God is one God. He's one God, and because He's one, and He's the only true God, He deserves worship, He deserves thanksgiving, because He loves us, even though we do not love ourselves, even though we do not love as much as He loves, because He loves us, because He shows us how to love, He's worthy of all that thanksgiving, worship, and honor, and that's why we're here. That's why we're taking time set apart on this day or throughout the week, to, to give thanks to God, to pray to Him. And we can surrender to Him knowing that He is God and because he's, He loves us, His will, His plan for us is good. Even if we're going through a suffering or, or difficulties, challenges, we can know, hey, God is allowing this because He loves us. He has a better plan for us. He wants to bring us to the other side. Now I want to speak about Jesus. Jesus made visible the invisible God. He shows us how much God loves us by dying on the cross. He shows us that love. He shows us our dignity. That though we sin, right, and we fall short, we fall apart, He comes. He comes down. He comes from the Father to pick us up, to take us away, take, a, take away that shame, take away the guilt of sin. He wants to pick us up, and that's what He does. He is the truth, as uh, some of the antiphons in today's uh, morning prayer was saying. Jesus is the truth. He gives us the consolation of the truth. He shows us our dignity. Sin wants to lie to us and say, hey, you're unworthy. You've sinned. You can't come to church. You can't come to the Father. No, Jesus shows us the truth. He wants to bring us to the Father, and he made it possible by him dying on the cross for us. And he makes it possible by giving us priests. My life was transformed by going to confession, by going to a priest, confessing my sins. What Jesus made possible, that, that, that highway to the Father, right? the Holy Spirit and Jesus makes it possible, and that's how my life was transformed. I'm going to share by, a bit of my testimony, but I want to speak about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit really makes actual what Jesus made possible. The Holy Spirit fulfills those words that Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 12. Greater things than these you will do in my name. Greater things. Whoa. Jesus did great things. He did miraculous things. He fed the 5,000. He healed the sick. He raised a man from the dead. And Jesus is saying that greater things we will do in his name when we ask the Father, because he goes to the Father, he will send the Holy Spirit, the advocate. So th just to, to, to wrap a bit of this up, the Holy Trinity, right? The Father sends the Son. The Son acquires, he gets that grace. And the Holy Spirit bestows that grace. And that work of recreation, right, of redeeming, of fulfilling greater things than these you will do in my name. The Holy Spirit does it in the sacraments. Every Mass is Holy Trinity Sunday because we are worshiping God the Father. We're, we're uh, offering Jesus to the Father through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit makes it all possible. But if there's one takeaway I want you to, to walk away from this homily is to know that God is love every other religion or most other religions speak about God loving but to say that God is love is unique to Christianity 
He loves us so much. And when we tap into the Father, when we tap into the grace that Jesus acquired for us in the Holy Spirit, we can love. I know for myself, when I didn't know the Father, I didn't know His mercy, even the good things that I did, you know, I, I wasn't able to love. I grew up in a, a cultural Catholic family, five brothers, three sisters, went to Mass on a regular basis almost every Sunday. And I didn't, I, I had so much self-hatred, I had so much poor self-image, I wasn't able to love myself. I wasn't able to have good relationships with people. I wasn't able to love. But when, after my fourth car accident and, uh, you know, <laughs> all the craziness of a selfish life, I was able to encounter God's mercy through a priest. And it's because of uh, the sacrament of confession that I, I encountered his love. And I said, wow, this religion stuff is real. God loves. He loves me. He loves me. Whoa. That's a game changer. It changed my whole life. And, you know, yeah, I, as a priest, I get to do awesome things. And, uh, you know, it's a whole adventure following the Lord. Right? The Lord puts me on different paths. I never thought I would come to Detroit, study to be a priest. Now I'm here. Uh, this week I was able to help Father Carlos Martins work on uh, relics, uh, help, help him repair relics. And just the, the, the family, right? The family that I got to know here in this parish community and in uh, Presentation Our Lady of Victory. That's because of the Father, right? That's because of Jesus, what He did. That's the Holy Spirit. Those are the scriptures being fulfilled. Those who follow me will have, you know, a hundredfold in this life and in the life to come of father, family, uh, I mean, uh, brothers and sisters, right? So God is love. He loves us. He, he allows us. He gives us the ability to love. And that's what it's all about. On my tombstone, maybe it will say all my credentials. Hey, he studied in Detroit. He did all these good things. He worked on relics. But if it says he loved, he loved God. He loved God, and we loved him because he loved us. Right? Father Joshua loved. That's, that's the main goal. That's the aim. Everything else is an add-on. Right? Are they going to be able to say that on your tombstone? He loved. She loved. She loved because the Father loved her. Jesus showed that love of the Father. The Holy Spirit made it possible for them to love. Tapping into all the graces that are bestowed, that are available to us in the liturgy. So, I know I went over three minutes there, but uh, I tried, eh? I tried. So let's tap into those graces that the Holy Spirit has, has available to us at this liturgy, at this, uh, in this next part of the Mass, and, um, so that we may love as the Father loves.